Hello and welcome to day 96 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, today we're going to talk about, it's funny how it just evolves slightly, because we've been talking a lot about self-love and self-worth and all of those things that really question our own ability, question our own worthiness, question whether you know we're deserving enough. And then what happens is when we do get things, we then just keep questioning it further. You know, and really speaking, what about just giving yourself some credit? What about just, you know, saying congratulations? What a milestone today is. 96 days of continual mindfulness practice of some sort. That is, you know, an amazing achievement and one that you should be eminently proud of. But as I'm saying that, are you really taking that into consideration? Are you really thinking about what that means? Are you really saying, whoa, yeah, that is some feat? Because you should do, because it's important that you do, but accept that you're done well and, and don't try and brush it off by saying, oh yeah, well, it's okay. I was only 10 minutes every day. No, <laughs> the ability to be able to, you know, really appreciate on a granular level the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis will allow you to achieve your bigger picture items. I've talked about manifestation on a lot of these videos and what manifestation needs is every single day you giving it something. No matter what it is, 1%, 5%, 100%, 10%, you give that what you want to achieve energy and you bring it to life through talking about it or doing with it. You see, and that's why it's important so the little things that you get back, the little things that make you think oh, that, you know, well done today, you know, those little bits and pieces are vital for you to develop and go forward because they're your checkpoints. They're those things where, you know, you can truly appreciate some of the work that you've done. But conversely, it flips out because you see, a lot of people think envy starts from the point of jealousy. But actually envy can also be developed through lack of self-worth. So you think, oh, I wish I could do that. Because you don't think you're good enough. Or oh, one day I might get that. Or I'm never going to get that. Why do they always get it? And it's not that you are jealous of the other person succeeding it's actually you don't give yourself enough credit that you're ever going to get there and that you believe your self-worth is so much less than that of somebody else's and i need to think about that because jealousy is always seen as something that you that you're you know that is quite an evil sort of oh you're terrible jealous envious and all these things but what about bringing it back sometimes and actually thinking about why, where does that systematically start from? Symptomatically produces envy, but where does it actually start from? And we really, as a nation, as a country, as, as other people, and we spoke about it at length yesterday, so I'm not going to go back over it, but about this perfect, world that we get shown and we're and we're sort of driven by this mirage of montages um, of people who just are airbrushing their looks and trying to create this you know unrealistic realistic world you know a lot of the reality tv stuff really should be called non-reality tv because is it really reality? You know, I'm not here to downcry anybody or, and I don't really watch them if I'm being honest. Um, the only one I watch in the UK is the goggle box where people watch, you're watching people watching TV. It's quite funny. Um, I only like it because the characters are on it, but and I don't watch much telly anyway, digressing slightly. But, you know, it's about having that level of love and support and understanding and accepting that today we might actually have a little bit of success and take those little nuggets of success and actually cherish them and hold them with that level of loving kindness that you deserve 
So today we're going to do a meditation on reducing envy and celebrating the success of others. But celebrating the success of others because we know our celebrations of success are only around the corner. That our celebration of our inner success is happening on day 96 because you're here. And it's about having that abundance of goodness for all beings. And when I use that word all, that includes you. Champion in your own inner success. Champion in your own success in your life. Now we're moving from lockdown into, into a period where everything's starting to open up. And I know there's going to be people out there who are going to, and I'll do that something on that tomorrow, but who are, who are going to be, you know, just tiptoeing back in because, you know, that's, that's where their mindset is. But it's about reducing envy and celebrating others. But it's about re increasing your self-worth and celebrating yourself as well. So we're going to get into a meditative state. I'm going to bring up a picture, okay? And I want you to just sit undisturbed, okay? And it's, you know, mindfulness meditations are what they are. And that's where they start from becoming, checking in with your body and having that posture and that breath and that feeling. So just close your eyes and just take a deep breath in and place your feet flat on the floor and just adjust your position and posture until your body feels both alert and open. Just lengthen your spine as if it was an antenna. Whenever I do that, I always feel good. Just push your back in and just lengthen your spine. Lift your heart as if you were offering up as a gift. Again, you're going to hear my voice followed by some periods of silence. And I want you to just take a few slow, deep breaths and bring in your awareness to each as it rises and falls. And like all of these sessions, they're about two things. They're about relaxation, but they're also about focus and intention. And the combination of focus and intention with relaxation allows us to change the habitual patterns in our mind and opens us up to an opportunity of unbound, unlimited mind, body, and soul. But set the intention in this session to reduce envy and to celebrate the success of others and the success of yourself. And good events, large and small, are abundant in other people's lives and they are in yours if you can recognize them. And all you need to do is just to awaken to them. So throughout this session, bring your awareness to your heart region. Notice how your practice affects your body, you know, even your face. Know that the sentiments and sensations you create are more important than the words themselves. I want you now to bring to mind, visualize someone who is, who you know is experiencing good fortune. It could be a big event like a healthy newborn baby or a promotion at work or a small event like enjoying a run or a sense of ease as the day unfolds. But absorb the scope of this person's good fortune, all events, good and bad. They fade with time. And all people yearn to be happy. And right now for this person, the universe wish is coming true. Wish for them to be happier happy celebrate their happiness and silently repeat this classic wish for this person from your heart may your happiness and good fortune continue and repeat this ancient wish over and over again with each breath you take let it infuse and soften your heart and your face Visualize yourself supporting this person, celebrating this new good fortune, coaxing his or her happiness to linger just a little bit longer. May your good fortune continue. 
And as your practice deepens, find out new ways to soften and expand your heart's capacity. Consider the good fortunes of people you don't even know. May their happiness continue. May their success continue. And may they celebrate with their open hearts. And although we know we can't make good fortune last forever, what we can do is we can condition our hearts to appreciate other people's blessings and be open to them. And as we know in our lives, the good fortune can't last. And we condition ourselves to appreciate the small successes in our lives. And open your heart to this appreciation for those who have had good fortune, luck, success. May their luck continue. May their happiness continue. May their heart open so that they can appreciate the good fortune and celebrate in their success, no matter how big or how small. And feel your energy reaching out to these people, reaching out to the world, reaching out to, to all beings, that you can open your heart and feel the wonderful energy that comes back, that is about accepting success, celebrating other people's success. And in doing so, with such an open heart, that you breed compassion, that you breed love, that you breed empathy. But I just want you now to turn those thoughts into yourself. And we know that our good fortune won't last forever, but we now will condition our hearts to appreciate all of our blessings that are open to us, no matter how big or how small. Celebrate the little things in your life that you're doing on an hour by hour, day by day, week by week basis that allows you to connect and be your best self. To provide help and love to others as your best self. And appreciate the loving kindness, the celebration of success that other people have for you. As we all bathe in the wonderment of human evolution. Today we can move forward, understanding, believing, and with an open heart, celebrating your inner success, the success of others, from a standpoint with no self-doubt, with no envy, but just with compassion, empathy, and love. And as always, take a deep breath in. Let it go and feel that love flowing through your body. And this meditation now has given you the perfect foundation for you to go and enjoy the rest of your day, evening or night. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. What a lovely meditation. I hope um, you can see that a lot of the uh, um, emotion that we project on others starts from within. And I've said this before, what we project and how we see other people is generally a good litmus test of what's going on inside you. 
So if you see people being angry all the time or people being jealous all the time or people being nasty or spiteful or resentful or any of those negative terminologies, a lot of that time is because that's how you feel. And you project that onto people. We've talked before about acceptance of non-acceptance. And when somebody doesn't accept who you are, you push and project that anger. Why are you always angry with me? Don't you understand me? It's because you're angry and they don't understand you. So today, project kindness, compassion, empathy, love in a way that is going to help you develop and help those around you too. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Be love and give love. Have a lovely day. And tomorrow will be day 97. Give yourself a virtual pat on the back. Congratulations. Well done. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.